In this video, we are going to discuss about the carbonation test on concrete. The list of contents are what is carbonation, its application, factors influencing the rate of carbonation, the reference, test procedure, how to interpret the obtained results, and how to avoid this phenomenon. So, let's start with what is carbonation. Carbonation is a chemical process where carbon dioxide in the atmosphere diffuses through the porous concrete surface that makes the concrete more acidic, that is, the pH of the concrete reduces from 12.5 to 8 or 9. Here you can see the reaction that carbon dioxide in the atmosphere reacts with the moisture to form carbonic acid. The carbonic acid penetrates to the surface of the concrete and the lime present in the concrete and forms the cal calcium carbonate. This precipitation of calcium carbonate causes the depassivation of the protective layer around the rebus and hence reduces the pH of the concrete. The application of this test are it is used to measure the likelihood of corrosion in the reinforcement by determining the depth of carbonation. As the depth increases, the probability of the corrosion also increases. Here you can observe the carbonation zone and the corroded rebus. The factors influencing the rate of carbonation are given below. Grade of concrete, amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, relative humidity of the concrete, amount of precipitation of calcium carbonate, concrete carbonation resistance, depth of cover, time, etc. Standard procedure for conducting carbonation test is given in IS 516 Part 5 Section 3 of 2021. The Part 5 Non-Destructive Testing of Concrete Section 3 Carbonation Depth Test it involves preparation of the test sample that is test shall be performed on freshly exposed concrete surface it may be either freshly broken surface of the concrete or extracted cork sample which may be preferably split and the test can be conducted on split face one thing to note is that after breaking concrete surface shall immediately be cleared of any dust 1% phenolphthalein solution in the alcohol is sprayed on the surface of the sample, avoiding flow channels on the surface. The measurement of the depth is done after the color has stabilized. Carbonation test was conducted on 2 to 3 specimens. We can observe the color change in two specimens and there is no color change in another specimen. This indicates that, that the sample in which there is no color change has been carbonated. Let's see how to interpret the results. The demarcation between the region which turns into magenta or the dark pink color and the region showing no change in the color will indicate the carbonation front. The depth is measured on exposed surface. According to the standard procedure, a minimum of three specimens shall be taken from each structural member and the mean depth of carbonation shall be calculated and recorded. How to avoid carbonation? It can be prevented by using epoxy coatings, acrylic sealers and saline sealers. Using lesser water cement ratio also reduces the chances of carbonation since it increases the density of the concrete. Adequate curing also reduces the chances of carbonation. Silica fumes having a higher surface area could be used to reduce the porosity of the concrete. And also using self-compacting concrete also reduces carbonation. Thank you.